I detect above normal temperatures. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Watch your step. You're approaching the refuge of Dirk Barrett. We are not hostile. Repeat, not hostile. Please do not shoot. Careful. Pathfinder, I'm Dirk Barrett. I speak for everyone you see here. Glad you're hearing me out instead of shooting me in the face. It never really hurts to listen. I agree. Most of the people who live here don't, as I'm sure you've noticed. They kill anything that moves, including each other. Long-term prospects for survival? Zero. <laughs> Me? I haven't lost my mind. I don't want to die. Neither do these people. That's why I need your help. Well, I am the Pathfinder, and I'm pretty sure my job description includes help people survive in Helios. So, shoot. What do you need? First, we need to move. This shelter is small and can't be fortified. Another gang has taken over a base about 20 clicks from here. Beautiful setup they don't know how to use. <laughs> Idiots taking apart the walls for scrap. If you can help us clear them out, I think we'll be good. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pathfinder. Anything else you need to know, just ask. You and your crew aren't as violent as the other scavengers here. From the start, Eladin was about how much firepower you had. Got firepower, you can take what you want. Resulted in lots of people using their guns to get bigger guns. Eventually, I had to step back and think about what I really wanted out here, and how to get there. Turns out I wasn't the only one. Why did you come to Aladdin? Seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not the smartest move. Kadara bothered some people. Sloan muscling her way into Angara territory. I guess some of us wanted to start with a clean slate. Too bad I got shit on so fast. If you manage to get a fortified base, what then? Trade, hopefully. We know the Krogan are out here. Once we're set up, we'll try to make contact. Maybe if we're really successful, the other exiles will come around and join us. I just know that anarchy is unlikely to get us very far. We need people working towards the same goal. I like your optimism. That's the stuff we need to really make it work out here. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a romantic at heart. What can I say? I'm not stupid. I know it's not going to be painless. But, as they say, if you're going to die... Better die trying. Nothing else right now. I'll head out. All right. Won't keep you. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Heat levels increasing. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. This heat is unbearable. I detect a considerable temperature drop in shaded areas.
avoid the sinkholes. Morta and her clan still hate the Nexus. Guess you should never make a Krogan angry. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Amazing or crazy? And the Krogan seem to be a bit of both. I detect above normal temperatures. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support at 100%. Move along. No outsiders. He's with me, human Pathfinder. The one you were telling us about? Jorgel Strux sent me. I'm supposed to talk with Morda. So now Strux is friends with the Nexus. Traitor. Think I'm a traitor too? Shut it, Wreck. I'm not here to step on any toes. I can help you guys out. You assume we need help. Hey, you guys did your job. Now stand down and let them in. But Drac, didn't I tell you to shut up? I'll spread the word so Morda knows you're here. Good. I'll see you inside, right? I'm gonna have a few more words with this pair first. Pathfinder must think he's pretty tough to just stroll in here. I saw the worm out there again. That thing is huge. Make a good ride of passage. Soft squishy human like you should probably steer clear of the wildlife out there. You said something about a worm? Not a worm. The worm. Huge. Invincible. You can't miss it. It pops out of the dunes from time to time. Plows down everything in its path. As if this planet wasn't deadly enough. Good news is, it doesn't attack us. It doesn't seem to care about us at all. Just stay out of its way. It'll barrel right through you, tear you to pieces. Thanks for the heads up. It was an accident. The terminal withdrawal. Uh, hello. I, I noticed you were listening. Uh, is it because you're a fan of the Krogan genius, Dr. O'Kear? I'm frantic because a terminal with all his research was accidentally sold to a junker. Um, no. Maybe? What was that? His work regarding Krogan physiology and the genophage was advanced. I was his protege. Uh, or, uh, I was acquainted with his protege. <laughs> anyway, it's encrypted, but it would be bad if it fell into the wrong hands. I can give you a nav point and the name of the scavenger I accidentally sold it to. You talk about Dr. O'Kear like I should know who that is. Dr. O'Kear was on the leading edge of Krogan genetics and possibly curing the genophage. And not using the slow genetic mutation approach the initiative has invested in. I have, I had a collection of his research. I hope to cure the genophage in the colony. Send me the nav point and the terminal identification. Done. I hope it's still on the planet. The Junker was aggressive.
Nice weather, isn't it? There's more to ever stop barking orders. Pathfinder, when you travel, do you meet many Angara? Sometimes. Have you met one named Lietta? I don't think so. Why? She was a salvager, made runs to Elodin all the time. When she landed, she would always stop here first. We climbed the dunes together, took in the view, talked for hours. Lietta had a hard time in this heat, so I said I'd make her a cryo bracelet. Were you two... you know... We were friends. At least I thought so. One day, she just stopped coming. I don't know where she is, if I'll ever see her again. You think something happened to her? She could have taken a new job. Maybe she was sick of Elodin. But if there's even a chance she ran into trouble, I can't stand not knowing. Tell me more about Lietta. She's adventurous, optimistic. Her jokes could make a Krogan blush. In a place like this, she stood out. I think she'd stand out anywhere. I could track her down for you. Make sure she's okay. Isn't there a salvager in the paradise? I would like that. If you find her, will you give her the cryo bracelet? Tell her she can use it to visit me again. Thank you, Pathfinder. You seem... different from the other Krogan. <laughs> My father called me a Salarian in a Krogan body. Supposed to be an insult. Joke's on him, though. I like Salarians. What are you doing up here? Looking. Back home, we didn't have time to just stop and look. Is life that different here? It was all about survival. Here, we don't have to fight so hard. Of course, the older ones still think they have to fight. Maybe it's just in their blood. Sounds like Helios was an easy choice for you. New galaxy, new life. Not interested in being a merc like my father, or battling it out on Tachanka. I almost didn't want to be packed into cryo for the journey. Wanted to see the whole thing. Would have been pretty lonely. Never been bothered by loneliness. The views would have been worth it. I should get going. So you're the human Pathfinder. You look different from the pictures I saw. You probably saw pictures of my dad. Your dad? You replaced him as Pathfinder? It's a long story. Haven't really kept up with Nexus news. Enough trouble to occupy me here. Scavengers? Amongst other things. You seen the Flophouse yet? That's where they get together. 80% shacks, 100% trouble. I'll give you the nav point so you can avoid it. Or not, as you choose. Have you had much trouble with scavengers at the colony? Not yet. They're not that stupid. A bunch of squishies against a hundred odd Krogan? Give it a little time. Resources run low, they'll get desperate. And who knows? Tell me more about the Flophouse. It's a loose collection of shelters where some scavenger gangs gather. They knock each other around, drink, and then when they're all riled up, run raids. And if you get close when they're hungry, well, that's how I lost a liver and gained a limp. Thanks. This information will come in handy. Just trying to help. Be careful out there, Pathfinder. I'm leaving. No way this is... 
I'd love to take down the worm. Better to live for myself than to see this place built the same way as Tatanka. Varka, listen to yourself. I know what I saw. Did that worm think I wouldn't notice? It's my squad, not Gren's, and I'll be damned if I let them take orders from him. What do you want me to do? Handle it, Cortic, or I will. Half the time, I feel like I'm the only one holding this colony together. Trouble? Varka and Gren fought together back home, side by side, but always in competition. Made them stronger. Now they have no enemies to fight. So they're fighting each other. I can see the tension building. Colonists taking sides. This is how clan wars start. Sounds like all they need is something to shoot. That's exactly what they need. Best way to stop this feud is to perform a rite of union. Which is? Shove them into a ring with a beast. Make them fight as a team. Defeating a common foe creates a powerful bond. Krogan, don't take that lightly. Help me perform the right, and we can hold this colony together. How am I supposed to help with the right? For one, they need something to fight. I hope you don't mean me. <laughs> no. But I do need you to help me drive a beast into the arena. Shamans make a special lure for this. Should help subdue it. You really think Varka and Gren could cause a war? Big problems can start out small, not taking any chances. I'll do whatever I can to help. Good. Set this lure out in the wild to attract a fiend. The beast might be feisty at first, so stay on your toes. I'll keep Varka and Gren from each other's throats till you get back. Good luck. Drak told me you'd be heading over. I tracked the stolen transport to one of Elodin's moons. You need to take your ship. Nothing we've got has stealth. How did they steal the transport? I had the security system off while I was transferring a new sample and, well, they snuck in from the far side. Morda thinks Vorn took transport for a sample run. I didn't tell her otherwise. If she ever finds out. I know. Thank you so much for helping me. We'll be back soon. I'll be here. See you about Araxia. You taste something different about the West Coast. Been out of the sea about Araxia. Sorry, Pathfinder. No outsiders in the family quarters.
you about Araxia. Better to live for myself than to see this place go the same way as Tachanka. Don't be stupid. Mortal, just scam. Get away from me. You Ravenor Brank? Struck sent me. He said Pain. that you. Yes. Find me later near the fighting pit. Hey, Nexus. I'm the one you talk to around here. Are you Morda? I'm Nakmar Morda, overlord of the Krogan in Helios. Overlord? And you're the celebrated Pathfinder from the Hyperion, found at last. I'm Ryder. This is thrilling. I've never stood so close to a Pathfinder before. Mostly because the Krogan never got one. Welcome to New Tachanka. You mean that? Because it doesn't sound like you mean that. You're right. I don't. You weren't there when the Council species on the Nexus banded together to screw over the Krogan. Again. New Galaxy, same crap. I'd just like you to give me, personally, the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Why are you here, Pathfinder? To see what a successful colony looks like. Our outposts are new. We could use the advice. Your manipulation is so transparent. No advice for you, only regret. Watch, the Krogan will thrive and the initiative will pay. Get out of my face before I smash it. A pleasure catching up with the new Krogan hierarchy. See you soon. Yikes, that confirmed our worst fears. Yeah, another leak? Maybe. She's plainly said the Nexus will pay. Let's talk to Brian before we freak out. Dr. O'Kear's important work can't be lost.
you about Araxia? Pretty wild out there. They'll kill you from fire. Just scavs being scavs. Ravenor Brank. Quiet. Anyone tells Morda I'm talking to you and I'm kicked out. Last thing I want to do is jeopardize the Nexus or this colony. Me neither. Or Clan Ravenor. Or Clan Jorgal. Or Clan Erdna. Some in Clan Nakmor, too. Okay, got it. Did you see the crashed ship as you landed? Morda's after the Drive Corps. That's remnant tech. Can Krogan use that? What are you talking about? She's building a bomb. With a drive core as a power source? Sam? Dangerous to those handling it, but in the end, very possible. Demolition teams have been busting down walls for months, battling those robots and scavengers. Lots here want peace with the Nexus. If Morda gets that drive core, boom, it's over. Now get away from me. Got it. Thanks. Got a couple of a bomb against her own people. Not good. Want to double your threats? Blood pressure's always winning. 